it's Sarah from Allcoin Best Ladies. Today we're gonna talk about Dogecoin, but before we do so, I thought you'd meet my Dodge. She's called Cleo, she's 10 months old, and she's a cross between a Staffy and a Rottweiler. And she's my world. Yes, girl. I love you too. <laughs> let's crack on with today's video. So let's do it again, shall we? Sarah from Allcoin Best Ladies. And like I said, we're talking about Dogecoin today. And for a long time, Dogecoin has been the go-to cryptocurrency for those who simply wanted to hold on to it for the laps. Known for the sheep meme that saw the popularity of Doge skyrocket to new highs, Dogecoin currently has a market capitalization of below the half a million mark. If you think that this is a high net worth for the meme con, then you will be surprised to hear that the parody cryptocurrency hit an all-time high actually market cap to close to 2 billion mark just a few months ago. However, there is more to the Dogecoin than meets the eye. And these are a couple of accomplishments that you probably knew nothing about. Neither did I, that's why I'm talking about it. So Dogecoin has a strong backing of online community with 211,000 followers on Twitter. And Dogecoin actually boasts one of the strongest community of crypto enthusiasts. A popular aspect of the Dogecoin community is the reuse of the Doge meme dialect. The dialect works by shortening phrases into singular words such as many, wow, very, so much, and so forth. A good example is this tweet from 2014, it's quite old. That is actually a video showing what is a Dogecoin, so it's quite good to watch as well. A good example like of an other statement would be, the coin is getting a lot of adoption, which is, which is what you would say. Dogecoin would basically say, match adoption. I don't know what I've put on that voice, but I think it's because of my dog. Never mind. And, and I think that common dialect uh, might be perhaps one of the biggest contributors to the unexpected success that Dogecoin has received. By keeping the dialect alive, the Dogecoin community has remained involved even after the coin was abandoned by its developers for a while. Obviously, apart from coming up with a dialect that has helped spur the coin to greater heights, the Dogecoin community has been one of the most progressive communities in the crypto space, given that they were able to self-organize and help our fellow members who have lost over 1 million worth of Doge in a hacking incident back in 2013 in December. So that is a very, very good move of them. But one of the main ones I want to show is about how they helped raise some monies. So there are three events that I've found. They basically sponsored a Jamaican bobsled team in Winter Olympics and the Dogecoin Reddit community was able to contribute up to $30,000 worth of Dogecoin for the team to make it to the Olympics. That's absolutely amazing. It's so thoughtful. We also got Dogecoin for water. So they set a goal of 50k for Kenya's water crisis. But from what I remember, they've raised about 32,000 on in this water campaign that saw the Dogecoin community enable clean water to the Karian community in 2012 for Kenyan people. This is something newerish, uh, whereas it's called Dodge for Malaria campaign. And this one happened only a few months ago when the Dutch Korean community was able to fund an organization that provides mosquito nets to children. This post is more of a Reddit post, so I thought I'll more likely show this than the Reddit post because I know a lot of people don't like Reddit. But yeah, guys, that's that's like things I wanted to mention aside of the technology and what they actually do. I know that they're trying to stay away from being the meme coin and trying to actually achieve something. I've researched some, some of their achievements because I was wondering why did they manage to get so far and those achievements are one of the reasons. There is no doubt that the parody coin is here to stay. The Dogecoin core development team has been working, like I said, on some white paper, and not to mention new updates on the source code, which is much developed again. So guys, let me know. Do you have your doggos? Uh, <laughs> let me know what you think of Dogecoin. Do you guys actually hodl any? I personally don't have any. This is not a professional financial advice. Let's not forget. This is just my summary of some things they've done that you might have not known about. And yeah, guys, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!